Welcome to my series on Dangerous Women, where I talk about some of the more badass and or terrifying women of sci-fi fantasy. This was voted on by my lovely patrons on Patreon. So this video's Dangerous Woman is going to be from the A Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones universe, Danielle Lawston, who hated children almost as much as I do. Danielle had long red hair, wore tight-fitting black armor, and was a complete psycho, which most redheads are, at least to a, a certain degree. So let's talk about what made Danielle such a dangerous woman. First, let's talk about a little family history. Danielle came from House Lawston, a now extinct house, which you'll learn why by the end of this video, with a sigil that featured a black bat on a field divided by silver and gold. Her family came to rule over Harrenhal after Felena Stokeworth made a man out of Aegon IV in 149 AC, who was then married to the master at arms, Lucas Lawston, who was granted Harrenhal by Aegon III in order to take his daughter away from court so she would stop making men out of people. Aegon IV may have also eventually given the lady's daughter, who also may have been his, pox, but that's neither here nor there. Eventually, Danielle was born, and she became the third or fourth generation of her house, ruling over Harrenhal. Presumably, she had no brothers, or they all died, so she became Lady of Harrenhal and head of House Lawston when her father died. Not much is known about her, but she did join Lord Brendan Rivers, who at the time was the Hand of the King to Ares I Targaryen, when he marched on the White Walls to stop the Second Blackfyre Rebellion. So, she did support the Targaryens. Which did not help her later on. Eventually, their line came to an end in what is described as chaos and madness due to Lady Danielle. She just, she went completely fucking crazy. I mean, look at her portrait. That bitch was crazy. You know it, I know it. So there were rumors that Lady Lawston liked to bathe in blood in order to keep her youthful appearance, which again, look at her. Her skin is gorgeous. Sign me up for blood baths. She also, allegedly, presided over feasts of human flesh, which, have you ever had human flesh? Delicious. So, to me, this says this woman really cares about her guests. Now, where did she get this human flesh from? Well, legend goes, she'd send giant bats from Harrenhal on moonless nights to carry bad children to her cookpots. Which, personally, I think is a win-win-win. She gets some tasty food, parents get rid of their shitty children, and the world has less monsters in it. When she was eating human flesh and summoning giant bats is probably when dear Danielle also started getting into a little black magic. Women just can't kill and get into black magic without being judged. Danielle's turn to the black arts eventually just led to pure chaos and the downfall of her line. During the reign of Makar the First Targaryen, her house was completely destroyed. Despite supporting the Targaryens in the past, and despite one of the Targaryen kings giving a female of this line an STD. We know Sir Illifer the Penniless killed one of the last of the Lostons, and afterwards Harrenhal was given to House Went. After that, the sigil of House Lawston was considered black and of ill repute. I guess Danielle was so fucked up that 90 plus years later, parents from all over the Seven Kingdoms still tell their kids tales about her and her giant bats that would come out at night to capture less well-behaved children, which obviously absolutely terrified the children they were telling. But was it a story to keep their children in line or the tale of a dangerous woman? Probably just a story to keep their children in line. So that was Mad Danielle. Do you sympathize with her? Do you feel like you kill a few children and people just start getting up in your ass? I'm thinking about doing a series on dangerous men of sci-fi fantasy, but it would be more like a highlight than a full history, as I already have full videos on characters like Roos and Barristan and Daemon and so on. But if you want a series on dangerous men, let me know in the comment section down below. 